In the 19th century, the question of slavery was a hugely divisive issue. Tensions were escalating and a number of campaigns against slavery took place. All these conflicts impacted on artists around the world and many of them made the subject the theme of their paintings. One of the masterpieces of the period is The Hundred Slaves by British artist Richard Anstow. This is a painting that is actually about one of the conflicts that took place in that century. It portrays two slaves that made an attempt to change their fate and escape from their master. Richard Anstow was an English painter. Most of his works were dedicated to rural scenes, portraits and daily life of huntsmen. But like other artists, he couldn't remain indifferent to the anti-slavery movement that was gaining ground. The Hundred Slaves was painted in 1861, the year when the American Civil War broke out. The main causes of this conflict are still debated. However, it is believed that the differences over slavery in the North and in the South were a crucial element. Richard Anstell in his painting captured two runaway slaves trying to leave behind their previous life. The escaped slaves are turning to face the pack of dogs which has pursued them. The pack of infuriated dogs symbolizes the cruelty of the masters that used to treat slaves like animals. The male is depicted brave and strong. He stands between the pack and the woman, ready to go to any length to protect her. At that time, people could hardly associate slaves with braveness and self-sacrifice, so this painting was a revolution in terms of attitude towards slaves. The female in the picture is slightly lighter in skin color than the male. Perhaps it means that she is a mulatto, a person with European and African ancestry. It symbolizes the defilement of slave women and the creation of mixed blood as a result. In his painting, Richard Anstell collected the most common symbols of slavery. The chains that were used to control slaves and limit their freedom. The partially clothed slaves that signifies that they were humiliated and that their clothing was meant to show their subordinate position. In the background of the picture, we can see the red color of the sky. It may be either a dawn or a sunset, but the red color, the color of blood, could symbolize the civil war that was well underway and could also be an illustration to the future of these slaves. The snake could also be seen as a threatening sign as these creatures symbolize death in many countries. The outcome of this conflict is unknown. On the one hand, the man is armed and he seems to be strong enough to defeat the dogs. On the other hand, we can see that the slaves are in the field with high rich grass. If they went there on purpose to heighten the grass from the pursuers, the dogs would reveal their location. It is a well-known hunter's trick to send dogs ahead and then chase them. In other words, a group of hunters may be approaching the scene. This painting clearly illustrates all the uncertainty of slaves' position in the 19th century.